All right. Hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Brandon Ambrosio, owner and founder of e-commerce automation. I just want to make a relatively quick video here going over our Amazon wholesale FBM service, kind of how it works, the overall structure. And then at the end, I'll share some team results and stuff and client results so you can see that. So just to jump right into it, again, my name is Brandon D'Ambrosio, owner and founder of e-commerce automation. But first, before I get into it, what does e-commerce automation mean? That sounds like a buzzword. It means nothing to you. The word automation in this case means that essentially you're investing with us to open up an Amazon store, in this case, an asset that you own 100% that we run for you 100% and that you fund the inventory and we split the profits every single month, more the profits go to you every month. So you make the investment and fund the inventory, we run it for you, you own the asset and we split the profits every single month. And that's how this works, it's very simple. So I just kind of went into what e-commerce automation was, I got ahead of myself there. Next step is why I started e-commerce automation. So if you know anything about my story, I invested with an Amazon automation service years ago and I lost a whole bunch of money because they had bad morals. They didn't know what they were doing. Their communication was terrible and I could go on for 15 minutes on that, but I won't <laughs> save you some time. But I started this to disrupt a wildly dishonest industry. And of course, not on these bullet points is also to make a profitable business for myself too. But I wanted to have the lowest prices for the upfront investment to allow the fastest possible ROI for the investor, which is you. And while also getting the best possible results in this case, the lower investment also gives us more of an incentive to get you more profits ongoing because we have that split. So in order for us to stay afloat, we need to get you the profits ongoing. So it's a win, win, win. So I've been on the customer side, like I said, and I know what it feels like to not get the results. You know, I could say like to not feel valued or to whatever, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, as long as you're getting results, I imagine you'll be happy. And that is what we focus on. So, you know, we have a, a team of people who've been doing this for over seven years manage 900 plus Amazon stores, that's supposed to say. There's <laughs> just not a word at the end there. And then to create a win, win, win. A win for you, you're getting a cash flow source, you own the store. Win for myself, as the co or myself, meaning the company, and a win for my team as well. So everyone gets paid and everyone's happy. So what does FBM mean to start off? So FBM just stands for Fulfilled by Merchant. So on Amazon, you can sell FBA, which is Fulfilled by Amazon, which means they package up, ship, and fulfill the orders and do all the customer service. FBM, you can also sell on Amazon that way, which means you as a seller, or in this case, us for you, would package up the products, ship them, and handle the customer service. So that's what we're doing in this case is the FBM side of things. General overview of the model here is you make the initial investment and have the available capital to fund the inventory and order fulfillment. And we'll go into what that looks like. You own the store 100%. We fully run and manage the store for you. And then we split the profits every single month. And for this service, it's a 60-40 split. So you get 60% of the profits every single month. It's 40 for us. And... In addition to that, you this is a profit split, so there's no extra monthly fees or anything that some of these other companies are charging. We're not going to charge you ongoing. You've already made the upfront investment. After that, as long as you're getting results, that's how we get paid ongoing. And then you get cash flow and own the Amazon store itself, 100%. So how does wholesale FBM work? Well, it's pretty simple. So wholesale FBM, or arbitrage if you want to call it that, works just like this. So we're going to research and, and order products for you that are proven to sell, which you're going to fund. So you're going to open up an account on either Walmart or some other, you know, companies' websites, just a buying account there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to order some inventory. Not a lot. So the risk for you is pretty low as far as the order inventory. We're going to pick maybe five products, order five, 10 or 15 units of each one of three to five products, let's say. We're going to order them and then we're going to ship them directly to our warehouse that we rent space in here in the U.S. So it comes from the U.S. to the U.S. And in this case, if it says Walmart, it's just the wholesale source that we're using here in order to buy this small amount of inventory from. Ship it to our warehouse. We repackage the products with the correct packaging and labeling for Amazon. And then we list the products in your Amazon store. We make sales and we ship the product directly to the customer using UPS, USPS, whatever is the cheapest and also fastest shipping that makes sense the most. This way the customer gets the product within a few days. They're happy and everything works. Amazon's happy. They're happy. We're happy. Everyone's making money and that's great in this case. And I'm not trying to sell the, <laughs> the dream and say everyone's making money and it's great. Obviously, you know, I'm just saying that's how the model works is that everybody wins. Amazon's happy. You're happy. We're happy is what I mean by that. And if you can't see here, I should probably zoom in, but 
it's hard with the screen share of Loom here. So basically what this investment overview is. So you have the initial investment of 14K with us. Then you have this initial credit line slash capital needed for inventory. And don't get the word initial confused for you're outlaying another $10,000 to us. We just need you to have that available in order for us to properly scale the store so you can ROI the fastest. What this is, and I mentioned, you know, we're ordering 5, 10, 15 units of three to five products, and we're going to scale that up as time goes. So the you're going to see that you're going to make the money back quickly, and then we keep recycling that process until we need more and more capital in order to scale it. So this is perfectly fine to use a credit card to scale. I'm not saying, you know, do something you're not comfortable with. What I'm saying is if you have a credit card or a business card, it doesn't really matter. And you have, you know, 10,000 plus limit, you know, we can order the inventory. The inventory is shipped within a few days to our warehouse. We take, you know, some time to, you know, a couple of days to repackage that. And then once it's sold on Amazon, we ship it right to them. So within that time period, you can come back and pay off you know, your credit card if that's the way you choose to do it. You can also do it with cash, like a debit card, any way you choose to do it. There's no Amazon PPC ad budget right now. Things can change and we'll always warn you of that ahead of time and get your permission, but right now there's not. And there's no other cost with that. Of course, inside of this, there's the you know, cost to you know, repackage it and all that stuff, but that's all considered when we order a product that we believe is gonna be profitable to sell on Amazon. So it's very simple how that works. And then the setup and startup overview here. And again, if it's small, I apologize. I'm going to read through everything. So the setup and startup overview is this. After you make that initial investment with us, we sign the agreement, of course. Before that, make the initial investment. We're going to guide you in order to open up your Amazon store. What I mean by guide is, is we're going to tell you exactly what you need to do, meaning me or somebody from my team, me right now. But anyway, we're going to guide you in order to open up the Amazon store. And what you need in order to open up an Amazon store is you need to be a human being living inside the USA. In this case, you need to have a residence of some sort, and it will help you guide you if you don't already have an LLC with the EIN number. And if you see this, don't get panicked and say this is a lot of stuff. All that will help you open up the store once we sign the contract, make the investment, all that stuff. It's not a long process. It's pretty easy. So if you've never opened up an LLC before, we can guide you with that, give you tools in order to do that. And it's fine, but Amazon needs you to have a business and a business bank account and those types of things in order to take you seriously as a seller. So we guide you for that. You need to be a person within the U.S., have a proof of address, which is simple, utility bill, et cetera. Have an LLC with an EIN number, which can be opened pretty quickly. A free business bank account. You just take your LLC and you go to the nearest bank, open that up. Now you have a bank account for your business and then have a proof of identity that you're who you say you are to make Amazon believe that you are a real person and you're going to do everything properly. And then of course the credit card is some way to fulfill these, uh, to order these inventories, order this inventory. Then after that happens, the startup, we're going to find the products to sell, order the inventory. They come to the warehouse. We're going to repackage it, list the products in your store. We make the sales and Amazon pays out every two weeks after the first payment, the first payment's a little bit delayed. And then after that, it's every two weeks with Amazon. So the setup timelines here. So there's an asterisk at the top. All timelines begin after you open up your Amazon store. So once the store is opened and approved between from weeks zero, should I say, to two, we have the product research, ordering, repackaging, and making sure the inventory is in the warehouse and ready to go. And after that, we're selling on Amazon, making sales and seeing profits. So it's a very fast startup time, usually within two weeks-ish after your store is fully opened. So it's very simple. It's pretty quick to start seeing results, and that's what we like. We want you to see those results as quickly as possible. And then, if I can move my face out of the way here. Okay. In conclusion here, you own the store. We run it. You get the cash flow. We split the profits every single month. It's the 14K initial investment, and then just have you know, around about 10K plus initial capital available for us to order the inventory, and then we have that profit split 60% to you. And... Moving into this, I'm going to show you some results here so you can see that as well. But how to invest with us is very simple. You know, we can get on a call if you want. You definitely don't have to. Some people don't. Some people are just excited and they want to do it, but we're more than happy to do the call. It can be audio or video here so you can see me and everything. After that, if it makes sense for you, of course, it's not a pushy situation here. It's only if it makes sense for you. We go ahead and sign that agreement together. And if I'm looking down, not into the screen, because I just want to make sure I'm looking at the right stuff. The onboarding process happens. It's a very smooth onboarding process. Then we have the store setup. And then after that, you get the cash flow basically 
from that. So what I want to move into now, because again, I don't want to keep this video very long. Or I don't want to make it very long. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull up board here and we're going to show you some client results. So basically what this is, and the reason I want to show it to you on video is because sometimes it can be a tad bit confusing looking at these sheets. So basically, you know, we always allow you to track everything so you can see what's going on in the store. So you can see how it breaks down and everything. Some people like to look at the numbers. Some people don't care as long as it's profitable and they're making money. These are some of our wholesale FBM client results here. This is what a Google sheet would look like that you have access to in order to track everything. We zoom in here at the end of the day for the month of September, 2022 for this store, we made $1,000.29 in profit in September on 5,494 sales. This was month one, I believe. And then that is store profit. All these profits are store profit before the profit split. And that's a 26% ROI on the money that you spent with the inventory. Next month here in October, we had $2,000 in store profit on $12,000 in sales at a 21% ROI. November, the third month, $3,451 in profit off of $16,900 in sales at a 29% ROI. And, you know, again, these are examples of numbers. The numbers range. Every store is different. We have to play within Amazon's rules. But these are some examples on results that roundabout you can expect. But, every, you know, I, I like to set the expectation like first couple of months may be lower. They may be higher. Just depending upon how we can get things going, how the setup goes, there's some variables there. But, we're, you know, we'll always make money. You'll always make money is what I mean. Just some examples here of the Amazon Seller Central dashboard for some stores. This store back in September, you know, you see the $5,497 in sales within 30 days. Next month here in October, you see $12,000 in sales in that 30-day period. That was supposed to be up there on this one here. I can just do that real quick. There you go. Simple enough. Next month in November, $16,000 in sales in 30 days. And those are just some examples so you can see the back end there. And, you know, I just want to show this to you to, to let you know that, you know, we do know what we're doing with this. My team does know what we're doing and, you know, we can get you the results. And of course, I wanted you to see those. So this is very simple. This is an overview here. The next step would be the call. If you wanted to do that, ask some more questions, because of course, this is very one sided here. I'm just talking to you and you don't have the ability to ask questions. So if you want to do that, let me know and uh, we can take the next steps from there. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon.